Pulse chain. 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 So it's been a while over here on Hexi Club since I've done a video. So I'm just trying to catch up on uh, some of the news items here on uh, Twitter and other places. Uh, this is Richard Hart giving us a little bit of wisdom here. Now, this mistake that many people make, especially newbies, uh, this isn't something I've done in crypto, but I did exactly this many, many moons ago when I first started getting into stocks and shares. Uh, I no longer make this mistake because I know what it's all about. But here he is telling us that in bull markets, it's common to see someone miss the bottom uh, by the top, then dump. Then it dumps massively. Then they sell and lock in their losses. Uh, yeah, this is when the panic mode sets in. I've done this in the stocks and shares. I've never done this in crypto. Now I'm pretty chilled. Uh, then it makes an all-time new high, all-time new high, and then they rebuy. Uh, but this time they get far less coins because they locked in their losses now. So this is Bitcoin, uh, which we'll look at the chart in a second. Uh, and not financial advice. Uh, so what else is going on? Uh, Golki here is telling us about Roger Ver has been arrested and charged with a tax evasion. Uh, Bitcoin Jesus, Roger Ver, charged with 50 million USD tax evasion. Early Bitcoin investor Roger Ver has been arrested and hit with the tax evasion charges the US Department of Justice announced. Now, uh, Richard has also picked up on this story and he's posted a quick screenshot uh, of the full indictment. Uh, and this is uh, he the arrested in Spain and the extradition to the US and this is the full indictment and uh, the man known as Bitcoin Jesus evaded nearly 50 million in taxes and the indictment was unsealed yesterday charging Roger Roger Ver an early invested in Bitcoin with mail fraud tax evasion and uh, filing false tax returns uh, Ver was arrested in the weekend in Spain based on US criminal charges uh, the US will seek Ver's extradition to stand trial in the US a, uh, according to the indictment, Ver, formerly of Santa Clara, California, owned uh, MemoryDealers.com uh, and AgileStar.com, two companies that sold computer networking networking equipment starting from 2011. And uh, now Ver allegedly began acquiring Bitcoins uh, for himself and his companies. Uh, he also allegedly avidly promoted Bitcoins, even obtaining the moniker Bitcoin Jesus. So this is going about 10 years. On February 4th, 2014, he allegedly obtained citizenship of St. Kitts and Nevis and shortly thereafter renounced his U.S. citizenship in a process known as expatriation. As a result of his expatriation, Ver allegedly was under U.S. law to file tax returns that reported uh, capital gains from the constructive sale of his worldwide assets, including Bitcoin, uh, and to report the fair market value of his assets. He was also alleged, uh, allegedly required to pay a tax, referred to as exit tax, on those capital gains. By uh, Feb 4th, 2014, Ver and his companies allegedly owned approximately 131,000 Bitcoins. Wow, what an amount that is. Uh, that traded on several s large exchanges for about 870 quid each. Great price back in the day. Uh, memory dealers and Agile Star allegedly held approximately 73,000 of these Bitcoins. Now, Ver allegedly hired a lawyer, a uh, law firm, to assist him with the expatriation and prepare his expatriation related returns. Uh, he also alleged hired an appraiser to value his two companies. Ver alleged, allegedly provided or caused to be provided false or misleading information. Uh, to the law firm and appraiser and concealed the true number of bitcoins he and his companies owned as a result the law firm allegedly prepared and filed false tax returns and substantially undervalued the two companies uh, and their bitcoins and did not report that ver owned any bitcoins personally so now you can see there's a serious charges compared to what richard hart's going through uh, in his case which is relatively uh small and uh Hopefully he should get a big win there, but this one I can't say the same for this. I don't know what's going to happen with this one. Uh, so that's the rest of it there. We're not we won't go through all of it. IRS criminal charges, cyber crimes, uh, a loss of the IRS to forty eight million. So there's a bit more stuff there. You can read that on uh, uh, Richard's post if you want to. Uh, what else is going on here? 
Now, uh, you know it, why, why it took weeks for anyone to notice that richardhart.com was down because no one visits it. It's not a priority. So some, I saw some people discussing that the site was down. Uh, thanks for clarifying what happened. Uh, we know you're worth. That's Corey Costa there. So uh, if we go over to the site, this is what you see here. Now, I haven't looked at richardhart.com for a while. Uh, this is something I used to use uh well back in the day now um, maybe about a year ago but haven't done so for a while so that's down at the moment now what else uh cz binance he is uh in jail former boss of world's largest crypto exchange is jailed for allowing money laundering chang peng zhao uh, who had already paid a 50 million dollar fine apologized for uh before his sentencing saying i failed here uh, and i deeply regret my failure I'm sorry, there he is, and uh, he's been banged away for four months. It seems like so many guys are going down in the crypto world. The former boss uh, of the world's l largest cryptocurrency exchange has been jailed for four months for allowing money laundering. The sentence was handed down to Binance founder uh, CZ as he pleaded guilty to beating US anti-money laundering laws designed to prevent terrorist financing and funds going to sanctioned countries. The prison term was far less and sought by the U.S. prosecutors who wanted a three-year term, uh, twice the maximum 18 months recommended under uh, federal sentencing uh, to be tough on the man once thought to be the most powerful person in crypto. A defense has called the pro uh, probation with no prison time uh, for their clients. So that's what they call for a 50 million fine. I'd already been paid by Saad. Despite the massive fine, he remains a billionaire and the wealthiest crypto executive, according to Forbes, with his, uh, with the magazine putting his wealth at 33 billion US dollars. Wow. Uh, so I apologized for his sentencing uh, at court saying, I failed here, I deeply regret it. I'm sorry, but the district judge, uh, Rich Jones told him, uh, you had the uh, wherewithal, uh, the finance capital capabilities and the people power to make sure that every single rep regulation had to be complied with and uh, so you failed at that opportunity he's the second major crypto boss uh, to go to prison last month uh sbf was sentenced to 25 years for stealing a billion so that's uh, zz also in jail now what is uh, going on now uh, hex turbo is pointing us to a listing in uh mexi we heard about this a while back i think but uh Maybe it's just going through now. Mexi is one of the top uh, centralized exchanges, currently ranked 11th, according to uh, CoinMarketCap. So there's a few messages here. Any news about Mexi listing? Yes, integration with Pulse Chain started a few days ago. So it looks like something's happening there. And that's one of the screenshots uh, from their site. What else have we got here? We've got our guy Tangent here now. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. If you're a Pulse Chain community, a member participating in this, in this disgusting value extraction operations as the victim, uh, promoter of the organization, there are impacts uh, that you are having on the rest of the community. So I think there's been a load of coins and shady projects that have been launching. Uh, you are the, you worsen the reputation of Pulse Chain and its operations, uh, guilt by association, the value. Uh, extract tools uh, usually remove the economic energy from the chain uh, you reduce the economic energy from legitimate products on the chain you yourself and others might lower the risk appetite based on how many people are getting scammed you are funding scammers giving them the economic energy to run more scams so it looks like maybe some uh, hexagons and pulsicons have been involved in i don't know what capacity in these projects uh too spooky here getting pretty close to declaring war and all these other grifters uh, and enablers i get the benefit of the doubt i give the benefit of the doubt and try to push things in the right direction and the greed gets to them you're richly robbing people to and refuse to do the right thing so beware of scams on the pulse chain ecosystem uh, from a tangent there so ben our guy here ben saying with some terrible news like uh black swan type stuff uh without sorry i mean uh i believe that the probably the local bottom for bitcoin is in so that's what he reckons i uh so it's already pumping a little bit actually this was down to almost uh, 56 a few hours ago this is the bitcoin price uh the top was 
uh, about uh, 74k, I think, somewhere over there, just under 74, 73 something it was, uh, when was that? And that was about a month ago now, so it's uh, on the slide now down to 58, that is uh, Bitcoin, uh, Ben giving us an update there. Now the Pulse Chain ecosystem not looking very good at all, slight increases here, Hex is up a little bit. But overall, this is now well below SAC price when we were over. And I thought we were stabilizing at SAC price and about to pump, but looks like it's come right down. Pulse X is looking even worse. That is, what, 75% down on SAC price. Pretty bad ink, of course. Uh, we uh, get to either buy or harvest. That started from a zero supply. And the hex, total hex, uh, e-hex, uh, well, we know what's happened to e-hex, but Overall, we're not even at a penny with both combined hexes. So looking pretty bad. And I think it's uh, eight weeks in a row of uh, red candles for uh, the RH ecosystem. So not looking good there. What else is going on? So in regards to scams, it looks like the access ecosystem has been hit as well. This is KEP here. So uh, one of the access hacker wallets just finished dumping. Uh, they sent 270 million pulse to this wallet here. Then the dumbass realized there was access tokens, so he sent back 50 million tokens. Then he dumped all the access tokens for 5 billion pulse. Uh, then the rookie literally sent over PLS over the pulse chain bridge to ETH where there is no liquidity. Oh wow, so he changed it like that. Okay, they also forgot that PLS in the, that wallet there hasn't uh, and it hasn't moved. So this moron either needs to bridge back to pulse chain to dump or they will eat another. Uh, minus 70% slippage on ETH trying to sell a bridged uh, WP uh, PLS on the ETH side. This has to be the dumbest hacker of all time. So there's like a funny story there going on uh, with the Axis ecosystem. So Crypto Coffee here giving us a little bit of info on uh, INC. The Pulse Chain Ecosystems INC token has a fair launch uh, started from zero supply. Is only mintable by liquidity providers. Uh, is not mentioned in the SEC lawsuit. Yes, that's true. Uh, may one day have voting or staking utility. If you like these narratives, you love INC. Dexes and farms are uh, Pulsex, Piteus, Nine Inch, and Fux. So uh, the final story I'll just bring you here. I forgot about this. Now this is going a while back. I, I was I thought I did a post on this, but I hadn't done. Uh, we managed to hit, this was the day when the, that Richard Hart post came out and everyone was dumping the EHEX. So there was massive emergency end staking. And what happened there was uh, uh, we got a payout of 60 HEX per T-shirt. And that was because the record day was hit and uh, we had over 1 billion in penalties. 1 billion HEX on the EHEX side. Uh, that was the first time ever it hit that kind of number and the biggest payout day. Uh, currently, on the e, uh, e ETH side, we're having 7.1 uh, payout days. And on the Pulse Chain side, we're having 6.891 on the payout. So, yeah, a few news articles there from what's been going on over the last couple of weeks. And hopefully we'll catch up soon with what else is coming this way.